One of the experiments we ran at Phoenix was to compare the results that we got from a pitot tube traverse that was conducted downstream of a valve in a relatively long section of ductwork so that I had no turbulence and nice uniform flow. So we started out with our airflow measuring station, which has a NIST certified accuracy of 2%. We have our valve, which we state will be within 5%. And then we have the pitot tube traverse, which we do not know what the results are going to be. We ran our tests at a, several airflow rates and compared the results of the traverse to what the valve claimed it was producing and what the actual NIST measuring station states that it was producing. What we found was that the pitot tube traverse conducted in a unobstructed duct in accordance with the prescribed methods of standard 111 and using the equipment suggested by Standard 111, gave us a measurement that was within 5% of the NIST certified measuring station. The feedback from the valve gave us a result that was within 2% of the NIST certified airflow station. Therefore, we came to the conclusion that the valve is going to be dead on and that the field traverse under perfect conditions is gonna be around 5%. So you can probably expect the best performance to be about 5%. And this fits in with what experience shows to be a range of 5 to 10% if you follow prescribed methods using prescribed equipment. If you don't, your airflow balancing can be anywhere as great as 25-30% off. And that is going to result in a lot of problems.